I get why you're cynical over MBS, over this stuff. And I am cynical as well. I'm overly critical of the guy. However, when you say that it could have been done under someone, anyone else, maybe you're not really aware of the history of Al-Sauds because the others are even worse. The others are much, much worse. Like, yeah, you see this guy, he just chopped up a... Uh, a uh, allegedly chopped up a uh, and a, a you know a, a journalist in some consulate. Uh, he probably just put some people in jail, and some people go like, "Oh, they're just activists." He goes like, "No, they're just uh, they're traitors." Now, at least he put them in jail. The others would have just killed them and their family. No, it happened, it happened me... under King Abdullah. It happened under King Fahad. It happened under King Faisal, mm. where entire families disappeared overnight. So maybe to me, like maybe for me. I'm kind of, I don't know, desensitized to this kind of stuff. Like, it's part of the course for me of being a Saudi. Like, yeah, this stuff happens. And I know it's kind of cynical. It's morbid. But it's it's just part of our reality. It's disappointing to see it from MBS when he was kind of promising at the beginning. But it's not surprising because we're kind of used to it. Okay, first so, of, so first of all, I don't think anybody was ever as, ever as bad as MBS because of the whatever you think about what he did to Saudi Arabia, what he did with Yemen is not just, um, it's not just unprecedented in Saudi Arabia, it's unprecedented in our lifetime, okay? Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.